So in this video, I want to show you how you can use ChatGPT along with Canva to create 400 social media posts. These are going to be Instagram in-feed posts, uh, Instagram Reels, TikToks, and YouTube Shorts. All right, so let's get right into it. So if you don't have ChatGPT already, sign up for a free account at openai.com or sign up for their subscription. And we're going to enter in this first prompt. And it says this, I am in the insert your niche or your industry, uh, write a list of 50 tips and tricks. Now you might be thinking, how are we going to get 400 social media posts from 50 tips and tricks? And then another, uh, on this prompt 50 quotes well from this one uh output we're gonna get 50 instagram in feed posts and then 50 pieces of short form video content but we're gonna post those 50 pieces of short form video content three on three different platforms tiktok uh, uh youtube shorts and instagram reels so that is 150 posts plus uh, another 50 uh instagram in feed posts that's 200 so uh then with this output also, uh, we're going to get another 200 posts for a total of 400 social media posts. All right, so let's grab this prompt, insert that in. And in this example, I'm going to say I am in the finance and investing niche, right? A list of 50 tips and tricks. Now you can tell ChatGPT, write unconventional tips and tricks, write unique tips and tricks, right? If you want to stand out from the competition and have a different output, uh, a less generic output, you can definitely do that as well. So now that we have the 50 tips and tricks, I'm simply just going to grab these right here, copy these. We're going to go over to Google Sheets. Uh, you could use Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel, whatever it is that you choose. Click uh, paste, paste that in. Now we're going to actually want to download this as a CSV file. So download, go down to CSV, and I'm going to name it tips and tricks. Very simple. Now let's go over to Canva and actually start creating the social media posts. So over here on Canva, I'm going to click social media. I'm going to scroll down to the Instagram post right here. And then I'm going to choose uh, one of the formats that I like, but you can simply choose whichever is going to work best for you and your brand, right? You could choose from any of these or use a keyword to search uh, uh, what would come up uh, for your brand or uh, your industry itself. So in this example, I'm going to choose this one. All right. So now that we have the format, the post itself that we want, I'm going to go down to apps. We're going to click that scroll down again, click bulk create, and then upload the CSV. Okay, let's go tips and tricks. I select that. Now that we have the CSV file uploaded, we have to connect it to the data. So this is a text that we want to connect to the data. So select the text, select the three dots, click connect data, and then select this text. Okay, so obviously this is a little bit big, we just need to adjust it so that it looks um, obviously more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so I'll just drag that up a little bit, drag that down. And there it is. Now we are going to click continue at the bottom left, generate 49 designs. And let's see what it comes up with. So here it is. Here are the 50 posts, the 50 Instagram in feed posts for uh, our investing and finance industry related social media, right? So do you see how easy it is? Now let's go over and do the same thing, but with quotes and with short form video content, okay? So here's the prompt, uh, very similar. I am in the insert your niche or your industry, write a list of 50 quotes. So I'm gonna put, I am in the finance and investing niche, right? A list of 50 quotes. Those are going to spit out. We're going to copy them, put them into, into the Excel file. And actually I have to create a new one. You could do that by uh, clicking this plus button down here, add sheet. And then we're going to go down, grab all of these quotes that are related to our industry. Grab those real quick, copy. Then we're going to paste those right down here. Done and then put them, download them as a CSV file, okay? Then we're gonna name it quotes, and there it is. Now we're gonna go and create the actual short form video content on Canva. So if I go uh, back to social media, 
on the home page of Canva. I'm going to scroll over to Instagram Reels, click a blank uh, setup, and again, choose whatever industry that you're in, right? You could select food, travel, real estate, search any keyword that is related to you, uh, but make sure that it is um, that it is related, right? I don't want to choose clouds for an investing and uh, and finance niche, right? I think this is more appropriate, which is a cityscape, okay? So I'm going to just change this, change that. I'm going to make that the only text. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scroll to apps. I'm going to scroll down to bulk create, upload the CSV, and enter the quotes one. And same thing, I'm going to select this text, select the three dots, connect the data, select the data itself, and adjust it accordingly. So I'm going to make this much, much smaller so that it fits. And there it is. Okay, so center that a little bit more. Now we're going to click continue, generate 49 designs, and it's going to make those 49 designs with the different quotes on them, right? These are all video, uh, video, short form video content, but you might be thinking, well, why do I want to use the same video in each piece of content? Well, you don't have to, and I wouldn't recommend doing that. You can either upload your own videos or you could use uh, Canva's stock videos. If you scroll down here, select video, and then select any keyword that is relevant to your industry. So. I can search stock market, right? And all these will come up. And then I'm just gonna select that there. This one is relevant, right? All of these are relevant images and videos uh, to the actual piece of content, right? So they're all unique. They're all different quote, unique quotes. They're unique uh, videos, okay? So do you see how this is all coming together? Now that we have these quotes in short form video content, we want to take them and make them into the Instagram in-feed post, just like we did with these, okay? And then the same thing, we want to take the tips and tricks and turn them into the short form video content, just like we did with this. And that is how you get to the total of 400 social media posts using ChatGPT and Canva together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful for you. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you did, you're gonna like the videos at the top. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.